So my name is Melinda Smith and I am going to show you how to um, create cells within fluid art. I have here a couple of examples um, of fluid art and if you want to pass these around. These first two examples are um, called a dirty cup pour and I'll show you how to do that one. This example here is going to be used uh, created with the swipe method. This is another example of using the swipe method. And then um, this is just an example here of how you can use different mediums can I see this one? with the same colors and create a totally different effect. So this one here was with the Floetrol and um, silicone and then this one here I used alcohol. So today we are going to be using Liquitex Basics paints. We're going to be using um, any sort of treadmill lubricant and uh, some flood Floetrol um, medium. And then we will add water to get the right consistency in our paints. So. So let's get started. Because I'm going to be demonstrating both methods at the same time, I'm going to put um, the same color in two cups. And then once everything's mixed up, we will uh, venture into two different paths for the creating the looks that we want. So when we put in our paint, you don't need, especially for these littler um, 8 by 10 canvas cardboard pieces, you don't need a whole lot of paint. So I'm only putting in uh, a dab. I don't, I don't really know how to touch that. Two maybe. squishes. Two squishes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to do yellow. Got lots of yellow and black. So then the, your next step is going to be adding some of the Floetrol and I will add um, probably about two-thirds of the amount so I'm filling it up to just below this blue the blue line there. But it's about twice as much as the paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. One part paint. Two Maybe even a little bit more than that. Three part, three part. Okay, so then we're gonna mix our colors and once I start mixing it and feeling kind of what the consistency feels like, um, and it will look pink, but it actually will dry red. It's pink because of the flow tall. Yeah, so it just improves the flow of the paint. Um, and then here, I'm, I start small with how much water you add. You can always add more. You can never, obviously, take it away. So what I'm looking for in the consistency of my paint is not that. I want more water. <laughs> I want it to flow nicely off of my um, what are these popsicle sticks. Yeah, I want it to like um, not just all glob off. Right. I, wa I want not a nice. Off, actually, that's yeah, good. So that's looking good. There you go. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna mix all these up real fast and. While I'm doing so, I can tell you all, you know, so today we're trying to create the cells. Um, we're gonna be after things that look like this, and this, and this. 
There are a number of ways that you can do this. Some people use pouring mediums. Um, you can use a heat gun to create more cells, but I have found that this technique right here actually um, you, creates plenty of cells without needing to use a heat gun. Um, the pouring medium tends to, you tend to want to use um, more heat. Uh, you can do it with just water, but water won't create the same type of cells as we're gonna get here today. I've heard of people using uh, olive oil for this. I have not yet done that. Instead of this or instead of water? Instead of the flow trawl. Okay. Yeah, because you're, you're just trying to cons change the consistency of the paint and the, the um, or instead of the silicone probably, because the silicone makes everything slippery, right? So that paint is going to slide around on it. And then just really make sure that you're getting all the clumps out. So, it's so I'm mixing two of each of the same colors so that you can see that with two colors you can get two totally different looks. <laughs> Feel free to mix colors, you know, make a pink or a orange or, you know. And this is actually a very inexpensive method to, even though we're using a lot of paint. Um, is a pretty inexpensive method. The flow trawl, I actually buy this by the gallon and it's only about $14 for a gallon. So this was probably eight-ish. 750. 750. Close enough. Um, this, I don't remember. Eight dollars? Uh, I think twelve. Twelve. Okay. But, uh, the silicone is, is about twelve. Okay, so we have our colors all mixed. So you want to mix the silicone into two of your three cups um, for this demonstration. I highly encourage experimenting <laughs> sometimes. So maybe you want to do it in only one. Um, but I, I find that if I'm using two colors, I like it in, or if I'm using three colors, I like it into two of my cups. So with this, I'm literally just going to do a couple, like a, maybe a second squeeze drizzle thing. It could be like three drops, not very much at all. And then you can just do kind of a light stir. You don't need. Okay, so these will set aside for the swipe. And this one we're going to use for a dirty cup pour. So with the dirty cup pour, you're going to pour the silicone-based ones into the non-silicone. We're just gonna pour that in. You can pour it in in any ratio, if you want to switch back and forth and kind of stir it around, do whatever makes you happy. Okay. And then I'm going to just give it a light stir. I don't want it to mix too much, but I do want to start seeing some of those colors mixing. And then we're going to put our canvas on top of our cup, and then we are going to flip our cup. So. Then we want all of our, our paint to settle to the bottom here. Some people like to pour out you know, some other leftovers and you can do whatever you want. And then this is the big reveal. Drum roll, please. So you can see the cells already starting to form as it um, expands over the thing. So then you just tip your canvas and like I said it'd be nice if you have something to catch it underneath because you do end up going through a lot of paint this way. But the cells will just continue to form as it sits. So you, you'll have big cells, you'll have small cells. If you see a, a part that you really like, like I really like that part, you know, you can try to center it, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's the dirty cup pour. You want these to stay flat as they dry. The, the canvas boards will tend to warp a little bit, so as the edges dry, I try to push it back down. 
Now we're gonna show you the swipe method. So with the swipe method, we're gonna use the same colors and you're gonna start out with your silicone, the colors that have been added to the silicone and you wanna cover probably two thirds to three quarters of your canvas. You can do it however you like. Make it fun. You know, if you, I like, I tend to be really drawn to the ocean, so a lot of mine are oceanic colors, and I'll try to make those uh, look like waves. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get kind of most of it covered on this side. Um, they'll end up mixing a little bit, not a ton. You will have some of the basic shape here. But you'll see, even as some of these interact, even the two with the silicone will still interact and have some cell formation. It won't be as drastic. You can do all one color here if you want, um, but the silicone ones go on the edge here. And then the non-silicone, we're gonna pour on this edge. And this is gonna be our swiping color. All right, so we have a basic coverage, and then we have cardstock here. And this cardstock, you'll just lie over this and drag it through, and it'll create your your cells. You can um, re-swipe. You can swipe the other direction. Whoops, I kind of dragged it out a little low. You can you know, play with this a lot. You can do some waves, however you'd like it. it. You know, the more you, the more you swipe, the more the colors are going to combine. So eventually, it will start to look kind of muddy. Uh, so you don't want to overdo it. When you get it to a point that you're like, yeah, that's kind of cool, then definitely stop there. As you can see, you know, you've got two very different looks from the same colors. These ones tend to be smaller, and then you have kind of a gradient where you have a lot of black on one side and not so much black on the other. This one is left all up to chance. So now that you've seen what you're working with, um, I'm gonna have you pick out your colors. We'll get everything poured and mixed, and um, I'll come around and help you problem solve, and then we'll see what everybody comes up with, all right? Watch out. Don't want to get you painty.